Do you think the Las Vegas Raiders really have to draft the right tackle in round one this year? I don't think so. I still have them taking safety Trayvon Morig, the best player available, and he fits a need. The Raiders had a plan for if center Rodney Hudson got traded. They loved Andre James long before trading Hudson. As funny as this may sound, Brandon Parker might be offensive line coach Tom Cable's plan to replace Trent Brown. We may not see it that way, but Cable had him drafted in the third round to develop him, and they can prove us wrong. If Parker doesn't work out, Sam Young is at least serviceable at right tackle. Plus, this year's draft class is deep at tackle, so round two would be a good spot to get one. Jackson Carmen is projected to be there for the Raiders, and he's a Clemson Tiger just like Rudin and Mayock like. The 6'5", 320-pounder has great feet and power, but has shorter arms like many of the tackles rated higher. However, he's more proven to me than the others because he's had the best competition. The problem with Carmen is sometimes he doesn't drop deep enough. And that causes him to turn his hips early, bend at the waist, and simply try to push the edge rusher past the quarterback. And it doesn't always work. Quarterback Trevor Lawrence just gets the ball out there. There's nothing like having 2020 number two overall Chase Young to expose your mistakes for you. Now here's Quincy Roche who's going to get drafted this year. Whoop! Bending at the waist will get you every time. There's no kick slide involved here. Here's Roche again and that's a hold. You know what else happens to you when you don't drop deep enough, you turn your waist too soon and you bend over at the waist? Oh, that's what happens to you. Inside counter move. Here's Ade Tecumbo Ogundeji with the inside move. It wasn't a sack, but it shows you how Carmen gets beat with it. Ogundeji will be in this year's draft too. Oh, inside again. This time it's Patrick Jones, who's also going to get drafted this year. Here comes Ogundeji again, and oh, this time it's for the sack. Now here comes Tomon Fox, and that is not the way to do it. Here he dang near oversets before the ball is even snapped, and that causes the pressure that causes the interception. Now that's not how it was most of the time, but when Carmen made mistakes, he went against quality pass rushers to make him pay. And now we're on to the good, run blocking where Carmen is a people mover, so the ball will find him. If you're a defender in Carmen's gap, you coming about that gap. He's gonna take two guys on this play. On this play, he's gonna block three different guys, and one of them twice. He gets such a push near the goal line, the ball always finds him. Time for that defensive tackle to come on out that gap. Carmen's gonna create an avenue for Travis Etienne here. Carmen isn't all brute strength. He's also an excellent position blocker. He can simply get in position and wall you off. Here he just gets in position with his feet and it's easy work from there. Watch the footwork to get in position here. And again.
Cable will love him because he can get to that second level. And once he locks on to you on the second level, he has you for a while. And if you're a secondary player, just stay away from him. Oh! Watch this combo off to the second level. Carmen made that hole. And here he gets to the second level to spring ATM for a touchdown. This is a super combo block here. Oh! And then push him away. The linebacker's gonna get ragged all here. Watch this. Get out of here. And that boy makes more pancakes than I hop. Oh. You can get it too, 88. And this ain't right. You can't do that to the Ohio State like that. Oh. I don't know where Roche thought he was going here, but Carmen knew where he was going. Oh, that's where he went. And didn't I tell these secondary fools to stay away from him earlier? Oh, that's what they get for not listening. You just saw him pull there, and he can run and play out in space as well. Nice little kick out there. Takes the first guy here. And another kick out. Looks like he's throwing down again. Oh, Miami fell for the okie doke here. Then, oh, to add insult to injury. Now we're on to pass protection. When he kick slides, he's good. If he gets deep enough and doesn't turn too soon, he won't have any problems. Then he even stops the inside move. All he has to do is kick slide with some urgency and not bend over at the waist. And he's nice and alert to pick up stunts. Unfortunately, sometimes his receivers wasted his good work. You gotta catch that. Now we'll look at some reps with Chase Young at the end of the 2019 season. Okay, not too bad there. This is a nice job of hand fighting with him and not getting his hands swiped away. So they send Young to the other side and he handles this guy. Almost got in trouble here, but he was able to push Young away from the quarterback. Here he kicks, slides, gets steep enough, and has no problems. Short arms and all, he's able to hand fight with Young again.
Now we're in 2020 and Jonathan Cooper was going to get drafted this year. He actually stayed with the inside spin move there. He kicks slides a little bit before he turns his hips here so he has no problem. This is a good rep here. He stays with his kick slide. And here he alertly picks up the stun. And his team gets a touchdown for it. Here he does a good job of hand fighting. Now we got Jones from Pitt. Again, when he gets deep enough, he's fine. Alert to pick up the stunt again. He's going to get out of his stance quick here. He has absolutely no problems when he kick slides and gets deep enough. Then he doesn't turn his hips too soon, and he handles the inside counter move. Look at this. He gives his quarterback time here, and he gets the deep ball off. Now here he is against Dalen Hayes. He'll be getting drafted this year too. He had his hands full with Hayes and Aguandizzi the whole night. Here he's going to come with the kick slide, then he's going to get in position and works the hands. Here comes Aguandizzi again and this time he's going to stop the inside move. Carmen looks like a polished, pro-ready prospect when he kick slides. Congratulations to Miller on his new deal as the franchise left tackle. The same goes for James on his promotion and new deal at center. Left guard Richie Incognito should have at least one more good year left in him. If not, John Simpson is waiting in the wings. Denzel Good is a front runner at right guard right now. The competition at right tackle is between Sam Young, who's serviceable, and Brandon Parker, who Cable is still trying to develop. So Carmen is a perfect pick who can play tackle if Parker doesn't work out and kick inside the guard if he does. Thank you for watching. See you next time.